this project, it was my dream. My mother from the this land, lived in this land. When I was a student, an engineering student, I visited my family of the mother, and I look around to the Dardanelles crossing, where we can put the, a bridge to that. And I uh, presented the article at Oslo, straight crossing uh, symposium, in the Chanakkale, how we can pass the Chanakkale. Uh, this is the, uh, is the coming to 40 years earlier, the solution showing to it, of course, it was not the 2023 meter span, it was the 1545 meter span. This project is uh, signifying uh, the 100th year of Turkish Republic, and the marine war that happened here in 1915 is commemorated in the name of the bridge where we as the Turks fought against, fought against the Australians and then the British. But 100 years later, uh, coincidence, we, uh, because it's an international project also, we actually worked hand in hand with many different uh, citizens of different countries. And among them are the Australians and the British. And so we worked hand in hand with them 100 years later on the lands where we fought 100 years ago. So I hope our bridge also serves for peace and it is like, you know, uh, perceived as a symbol of peace. These international projects, you know, you need the best team, you need the all-star team. So, because you don't really have the luxury of the learning curve, you have to keep it as short as possible. Then you uh, come up with a team with international members. And I think this also, these projects also are an opportunity for citizens of different countries to come together and work together and form a team. And I think in that way, it's also serving for the peace. So I would really highlight the cultural and the historical uh, issues in this project rather than the numbers. And this bridge is going to signify peace uh, instead of war. And uh, this is the main idea behind. In 1915, Chanakkale Bridge also has a uh, world record span. 2023 three meters and uh, with the height the, the height of the Chanakkale uh, bridge towers is 334 meters and with this height uh, it is the uh, highest tower uh, all the world uh, on the suspension bridges and uh, the colors of the towers red and white gets their colors from our glorious Turkish flag. And we implemented the traditional uh, architectural motifs and arches in the cross beams of the towers. Çanakkale Bridge is not only linking two continent, continents, Asia and Europe. Also, it is linking the history of uh, Turkey and the bright future of the Turkey as well. I think this is a landmark project that we are proud of uh, with all aspects, including the financing. Uh, we have 10 different countries involving in this transaction with 25 lenders uh, from all over the world. Biggest size of Korean lenders, uh, 1 billion euros of funding mm. within our structure. And we have 14 hedge counterparties. If you ask me, I think this is kind of a miracle uh, happened within a one year. This project is not only a construction project, also a PPP project and uh, over 3 billion euro. And uh, not only the construction size of the project giving impact to economy, also the additional uh, benefit of that project creates over 16 million euro economical impact of that region. The region is under development and also the, uh, it's very open to develop tourism sector and uh, that bridge will help to uh, develop that region for different aspects. We also have a big challenge when, while we are constru construction of this bridge and uh, that was the wind, wind weather condition, especially for the wind. Another challenge is also time, timeline. And that was uh, this is a PPP project. So because of the 
I think uh, as much as we are complete the project early, that means that we have more operation time. So that means that we, we can earn more money. So, but of course, that was money is not issue. But first, our priority is uh, uh, safety. We, we don't have any, uh, uh, any accident so far. So hopefully, uh, we left uh, less than six months so uh, we can complete the project uh, safely. In our project, we have four partners. I'm representing Limak, and we have Yapamakizi from Turkey, and our two Korean partners, uh, Daily and SK. So actually, we have four different corporate cultures. Each company has its own way of decision making, but you have to make sure that your JV makes the right decision in the required timeline. So then we start, you know, learning how to make decisions jointly. And this is very important for the companies in the joint ventures or partnerships. Because once you cannot succeed, then you cannot make the decisions in time. And then that means additional time loss and also cost. I think in the beginning of a project, we struggle to the, uh, understand each other. Now, even we, are, we don't talk too much, we can understand each other. So uh, I think uh, after complete the project, maybe we will miss each other. We also learned a lot. Our partners have learned, we learned how to run those partnerships. So I deem it important for all the companies nowadays to be able to form you know, partnerships and to run them uh, smoothly. And I think this is one of the successes of this project and we are more or less on time in our schedule. This is the most uh, special bridge in Turkey, I believe. And uh, you know, you cannot take this bridge and place it anywhere else.